what is going on guys heading to patient first right now because it's i didn't even get to sleep last night i didn't sleep at all with my mom right now i don't have insurance so i'm paying out of pocket right now i have to get like these new capsules for my nebulizer or an inhaler it's like really hard to talk right now too so like heavy breathing What are we seeing you for today? Uh, my asthma. I had trouble breathing last night. Okay. I think, think I needed an inhaler or... Okay. Maybe. You could try the insurance card. Yeah. Part well, that's the, I don't have insurance, so I was going to pay out of pocket today. Are you employed? Uh, I work online right now. Like what? Self-employed? Yeah, like self-employed, yeah. <laughs> I work for YouTube, so it's like, it's, it's like a... I'm a creator. I don't know how to explain it. I work for Google. I do like online like videos and stuff like that. Like, okay. Editing and... Yeah, like a video editor. You can <laughs> say a video editor, I guess. <laughs> it's confusing. Want to get medications from here if available? Uh, yeah, I was hoping to get like probably an inhaler or maybe I have a nebulizer at home. Mm -hmm. I've seen I have I had these capsules I used to use, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I can get those. Those seem to help more. Uh, let's see. I'm not calling you. Okay. Cool. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, you know, just take this with me, right? Uh -huh. gotcha. Cool. Oh, that's good. <laughs> the last night, the last night, we took one beer and just sip a nothing. Oh, well, that's good. Come sit right up on the scale. Put your feet all the way on the scale. The are on the scale. You gotta put your feet together. It's a penny TV. Have a seat and take your sweatshirt off if you would. Are you a smoker or a former smoker? No, I don't smoke at all. Have you had a flu shot since August 1st? No. Hey. Yes. I got your M. So tell me what's going on with your asthma. It's just like I, I couldn't sleep last night. Okay. My brain was really, really heavy. When did you start feeling it? Uh, I got a new bed and it's like my bed's low to the ground. Yeah. So I guess it's like picking Maybe up the more exposure to, more dust, exposure or to dust. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So I never had a problem at all. Like yeah. it was, it's like rare that I ever have asthma problems. But like, this was like probably like, two months ago. That you got the new bed? Yeah, I got the new okay. bed. I started doing it. And so over the last like week or two, how, how many days out of the you know week are you having symptoms? Uh, probably like about three times a week. Okay. Probably just like a random. I've been drinking like peppermint tea. And, uh, my girlfriend has a nebulizer and she has capsules. She has asthma too. Yeah. But we ran out of it. So. Gotcha. Um, when was the last time that you had spirometry testing done with the pulmonologist? Uh, I've never had that. Never had that done. Were you ever on? Were you ever on a maintenance medicine for your mm -hmm. al for your asthma? Just the albuterol if you needed it. Never. I haven't been on albuterol since I was what sixteen. Okay. Until gotcha. I was really young. Yeah. Gotcha. Did you ever um, figure out what your triggers were when you were a kid? Was it more like uh, allergen exposures? I think it was more of the allergen stuff. exposures. Yeah. Okay. And any medicines that you take regularly? Mm -hmm. no. Any medicines that you're allergic to? No, not that okay. I know of, no. And other than kind of the breathing stuff that you've been having, are you having any fevers or chills? Mm -hmm. Do you get any coughing with your asthma? No, it's just, uh, I mean, I cough sometimes just to like try to clear my throat. That's gotcha, about, yeah. but not that, not that sometimes like, people get like cough with their asthma, but no. yours is more the tightness. It's just like the tightness, Do you yeah. get wheezing with it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you haven't had any inhalers or anything like that today? No. no. None of the nebulizers go. Yeah, I feel like the, uh, the nebulizer pills, mm -hmm. they work better than the inhalers. So I think sometimes people, that actually the studies work show that the meter dose inhalers work better. Yeah. Um, but I think when you feel tight, it's hard to take a deep breath to get that medicine in. So yeah, I feel like that's where the nebulizer really comes nice. in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a listen to your heart. And a nice deep breath. So I hear a little wheeze on that right hand side. I do want to have my nurse come in and give you a nebulizer and see what you sound like afterwards. If you're still wheezing, we may need to do a chest x-ray and just make sure that you haven't got any consolidation since it's been a few months since this started. Mm -hmm. The hard part is going to be if you're having really truly three times a week symptoms, this is something where you're going to need to be on a maintenance medicine. Mm -hmm. Now before we would do anything like that, we would want you to get in with the pulmonologist and have you do spirometry testing. So that is different than the peak flow, which is like how much air can you get out at once. It's actually done on a computer system where it looks at it checks and sees how those small alveoli are working. Mm -hmm. um, so I will put a referral into the pulmonologist because obviously you just got this new bed. I can't imagine everything is going to change. You're going to get a new bed. Mm -hmm. So it may be one is that maybe getting like a HEPA B filter for your room, which sometimes can filter out some of that dust a little bit, decrease some of the allergens. I think acutely, obviously, we can give you albuterol, but I, I don't 
that I don't want you using the albuterol like three times a week without yeah. actually fixing your problem. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. Give me just a minute. Let's get that nebulizer and see how you sound after it. And you said no medicines that you're allergic to. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Get that, and I will be right back in. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It sounds expensive. Oh, yeah. The stuff they're trying to do? Of course. Hello, Luke. I'm sorry. I had to go to the ER, Bubba. I'm sorry. There's no, th there's no toy in there. Come on. No. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I feel... I know. I know. Toy? I feel okay better. I feel better now. Luke was cuddling me this morning because he knew I didn't feel good. But he can sense it. I got prescribed the same things that Eric has. The little capsules. I need to get health insurance, guys, because like it's super expensive. Like The inhaler itself is like 68 the capsules were $9, so I just got that. I just paid $240 just to get a checkup and to use a nebulizer. I feel better now. Me and my mom, we went to Walmart. We uh, put in the prescription for the little capsules. I, it comes with like 25 of them. It should be good enough. They said that should last me a year, but I don't know. Like I went through a bunch of them like just the past month. It was just really, really hard for me to breathe this morning. Like I could not even sleep. I kept like sleeping for like 30 minutes and I would wake up and then it would just be like the constant repeat of that. I'm really, really sleepy right now. I'm still vlogging for you guys because like I asked you guys if you guys want me to do daily vlogging and you guys said yes. If I die on camera vlogging, doing what I love, then I'm okay with that. As long as I entertain you guys till my last breath, I have no clue why they gave me this. Like I already have nebulizer i don't need this at all top of this like kind of fell on the ground and she's like, oh i'm sorry about that i was like oh that's good i'll just wash it they saw me vlogging and then they asked me like what my job was what my occupation was and i told them like i work online and it got kind of awkward because like when i said i work online she looked at me and was like oh. Like, what do you do online? So like, she probably thought I was like a porn star or something. <laughs> I create videos. She was like, okay, video editor. I was like, yeah, yeah, uh, that one. I find it always awkward like to tell people like what I do for a living. But the actual nurse, she was like, oh, that's cool. Like a lot of people are working on the internet now. I have a friend that does stuff like that too. So she left out the room. Then a different lady came in and she was holding the nebulizer and she was like, oh, we saw him. We noticed that you were holding a camera. He's like, there's strict rules about this. She was super nice about it. I understood. So I just didn't vlog the rest of it. I respected their privacy and their rules there. So I just like didn't vlog anything more after that they were there trying to help me so i was just like okay i understand oh yeah i'm okay Luke. i'm okay i feel i feel better come here come here i'm sorry ah oh, dang he keeps bumping i'm sorry this big booty what you doing <laughs> and also a little bit of an update on the new house and everything uh they're asking for like bank statements from me so i went to the bank this morning print out some bank statements worst case scenario like someone commented on my last video they're like pat who cares like where you live like do what's best for you guys and like that comment really hit me hard is i don't know i'm like thinking like i need the best of the best to do what i love to do and like that's that's wrong like we gotta work with what we have and like if people can't respect that if they're not there for you to like respect like what you have to go through to grind to make it then like they're not really there for you but my mom went to take care of some paperwork and stuff like that if we do get the three bedroom apartment we don't have to put a down payment on we basically just move our stuff from here to there the downside with that is the internet i think it is the same crappy internet so i might have to put up with that internet a little bit longer as long as we got a roof over our head i'm fine with that if we get the house and that's good that's a, that's a plus but if we get an apartment like you know i'm grateful for it there's people out there with no homes so like i just gotta start thinking like that and also coming december 1st i'm gonna try to do daily vlogging guys i said emphasis on try because like it's really hard to get content guys i still don't know why like to this day why luke rubs his head on the wall like he was like this and he was just like rubbing his head against the wall like this like just walking, prancing around the wall. I thought he was about to do it. <laughs> you guys see that line right there? I think that's from him. Look at that, how dirty this dude is. He just rubs his dirty face against the wall. And then here comes the comment of people saying, oh, you have dirty walls, eh. Guys, like honestly at this point, we're moving out next Wednesday and I, I really can care less about this apartment and like what looks dirty and what looks nice. So uh, yeah, go. Uh I was waiting for it. If you stare at Luke long enough, he gets like the awkward tension. He's just like, yo, stop staring at me. He just doesn't want me staring at him right now. Hello? Hey, baby. Hey, babe. Hey, uh, Where are you? I'm in the ER. What? Really? Yeah. Wait, 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 what? I'm in the Sorry. ER. Why? Because I got a doses of uh, diarrhea. I have like what'd you eat? I have like massive diarrhea and like what'd you eat? You have to like use a toilet plunger and like put it in my butthole. <laughs> 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 I 
I'm just joking. I'm at home. <laughs> yeah. Here I was thinking you were like dying on the toilet. If I eat some hot Cheetos, yeah. I got the capsules, like 25 of them. How much did you have to pay? Like $9. Really? That's it? Well, that's just for the medicine. <laughs> oh, how much did they pay for the checkup? Like 240 I don't, uh -uh. I don't have insurance. Oh, let me switch this orange. For this. Oh, you have asthma. You feel better now? Yeah, because like, they gave me a nebulizer treatment there. Inhaler prescription too, but it's like $68 for the inhaler. So you're not going to get it? Probably not. I don't know. I got to save my money. I think the caps, the 25 capsules should be good. Like with these prescription papers, I don't know. Do these expire or can I bring them anytime? Wait, they expire. You already have the liquids? Do I have to wait till they text me so I can go pick them up? Um, yeah, they kind of yelled at me there at the ER because they were like, oh, you can't be vlogging. You vlogged it? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got a vlog for the uh, Padawans. So they make you put your camera away? Yeah. Oh, I was like vlogging low key. Like I had it put on like a shelf. <laughs> and then they were like, we noticed you were kept arranging your camera. It's like, you need to turn that off. I was like, okay, it's fine. Damn. Like, I kept taking the nebulizer, just putting water in it, because I don't have any medicine, and it just felt like it was just not doing shit. Obviously, it's not going to do anything. I don't know. I thought it was working at first, because it was like a life hack, but I guess not. <laughs> Wait, but why, like, were you, like, running around with Luke? Is that why? No, I, didn't, I wasn't doing anything. I was just laying down in bed, and just, my breathing was as heavy as that. Stalker's probably going to send this video of this vlog to your mom and be like, look, Erica's at his house. <laughs> I'm home though because you can see. Yep, she's at home. A f loser, stop watching my vlog. What are you doing? I just had breakfast with Kim and now we're just watching like a novella. Oh yeah, didn't you say there was a bomb threat? What the f There was a, yeah, there was a bomb threat at my school. Like, I woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning because I was getting a bunch of emails, but I didn't like read them. And then Kim called me at like 9 or something asking if I could pick her up, but I don't have my car. And it was because no one was on campus because of the bomb threat. No. So I'm hoping they cancel classes tomorrow, too. <laughs> That's Norfolk, baby. They don't care. That could be like a fire in the school. But all right, guys. Have a good day in class. <laughs> uh, uh, there was only a bomb threat. Like, what are you going to do? I feel, like that's like, I feel like that's a student that's doing that just to try to get out. I don't know why they gave me this. Like, they always do that. I don't know why. Like, whenever yeah. I go, they always give me, like, a new setup. Yeah. Like, she dropped it on the floor. She was like, ah, oh, you could just wash it. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Kim's there? Oh, Tara said hi. Yeah. Kim, he said hi. Hi. Hi, Kim. All right, looks like me and my mom are about to go get some pho, pho. I don't know. I don't know. How do you guys say it? Luke's ears are sticky. I don't know how. He has like syrup on them. I also got my medicine now, so we're all good. Oh, yeah. It's like the same one Eric has. This looks like more than 25. I guess it's five in each. Looks like we're eating a happy buffet instead of pho. We didn't really want just soup. We wanted everything. There's like a seven, what is it, seven ninety nine? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's seven ninety nine right now for lunch, so we're gonna take advantage of this. I always get random stuff for my plate. Oh no, no, no. It's so loud. Huh? It's so loud. I'm so loud. Yeah, you're like yelling. Is your headset on? I have my headset. Yeah, you can't hear yourself. That's why. It's so weird. I've never seen black jello before. Look at that. It actually be blue. Oh my god, me and my mom look so stupid right now. We both forgot our wallets. I have to drive home right now because I have to get our cars. Oh my god, what the heck? The lady was looking at us like, uh, we about to wash some dishes. This is the first time something like this has ever happened. Like, she dead ass thinks we're like trying to dine and dash right now, probably. My mom actually left her card in the medicine bag that she gave me because she went to go pick up my medicine. Yo, I am stuffed. I am full. I feel a lot better though. Like, like, your guys' love and support, man, like, it makes me, like, it makes me want to vlog, man. Like, that's why I'm picking up this vlog camera today. You guys killed it with support on the past, like, two vlogs, and it just makes me want to vlog. Like, just seeing you guys like my vlog, you guys showing love in the comment section, it just really makes me want to vlog. Like, I don't even want anything for Christmas, guys. Like, I have everything I need. Like, I have, like, I have clothes, you know, I have a roof over my head. And I have you guys, so I'm like, what else could I ask for? I lied, maybe some new subscribers, like some more subscribers, that'll be dope. And for the first time in a really long time, today's actually like a nice day out. I need to get my chapstick too, guys. Like, y'all gonna be roasting me, I know it. Yo, this car's window is jacked behind me. Look at that, that thing is messed up. Luke, I'm just getting cards real quick. Set it to here. Oh wow, what a dummy. Okay, you can come. Let's go! All right, we gotta go pay. We gotta go pay. I've been training him off the leash, guys, and he's doing pretty good. Stay, good boy. Stay, hey, hey, good boy. 
You know what to do. Yeah, you do. Okay, go up. That's all he can do. <laughs> I gotta pick him up by the wiener. Yeah. <laughs> now sit your booty down, you big horse. Sit. All right, look, you need to tuck your tail in real quick. Here we go. Okay, I got you. Woo! 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 All right, Luke, hold the car down real quick, okay? Are you driving? When I went in there, like, everyone was staring at me, like, the employees, they're like, oh, he finally came back with the money. Luke, you missed the buffet, buddy. Wanna lick it off my face? So I found out why Luke's ears are sticky. Apparently, my sister ate some Eggos this morning. She ate some waffles. I don't know why I said Eggos. She ate some waffles this morning, and then his ears just got into the syrup, so I gotta clean it up now. What are you, 11? All right, guys, about to go hit up the gym right now. I feel like I gotta change myself. I gotta change my ways once again. I haven't been gymming every single day. I haven't gymmed for, like, at least a week and a half. And I feel like that's another huge huge factor in on why I feel the way I do. So like I need to take this medication and then just like stay fit, stay healthy. And I think we'll be okay. All right guys, I just got back from the gym and I feel amazing, like 10 times better. Like I feel like I just found myself. Like the past two vlogs, they felt like me. Everything before that, like when I would edit it and like I would sit there and just watch myself, I would question myself, I was like, who is this guy? He's trying too hard, he's not being himself. But the past two vlogs when I sat down and edited it, I actually enjoyed editing it. And I was like, yeah, this feels like me, it feels right. So it just felt like it flowed a lot smoother, if it makes sense. I don't know if you guys understand, but I killed it. I'm extremely happy. I learned to like just enjoy life. Just being like this and like seeing that like my asthma can affect me. I can like die tomorrow. So like I have to be thankful for what I have now. So I want everyone watching this right now to sit down and just think about what you're grateful for. I lost myself like the middle of this year, but I feel like I finally found myself. But on that note, guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for staying along on this journey. You guys are amazing. You guys have been liking my videos. We've been like hitting 200 likes on uh, like the past three videos, I think. So thank you guys for that. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys aren't yet subbed to my channel, yo, do me a favor right now. Go to everyone in your family right now. Make sure they're subbed to my channel. Tell them to turn on the post notifications too. Let's see if you can get them to sub to my channel in five, four, three, two, one. Did you guys do it yet? All right, cool, thanks. I think I can pull off Vlogmas, guys, because like I feel great. I have like a lot of ideas. I've just been vlogging. I think that's what I've been stressing about. Like I've been thinking like, what video should I do? What should I do? And stuff like that. But like I felt like just vlogging and like it comes naturally after that. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and deuces.